And my name is Lewis Cantley, and I'm the director of the Sandra and Edward Meyer Cancer Center at Weill Cornell Medical College. We're beginning to make huge breakthroughs in understanding the mechanisms of cancer, what causes cancer, how it evolves, and also how we can use that information to treat it. And this is happening because we're beginning to understand at the molecular level, at the biochemical level, at the cellular level, what's going on in the disease and how to use that knowledge to intervene with drugs. We are very reliant on public funds, both through government, uh, NCI, NIH funded research, uh, which is unfortunately uh, declining in real dollars today, but also through philanthropy. Uh, philanthropy uh, can help sustain us at a time when government research funding is, is declining. Uh, and it's, uh, it's just an exciting time to be able to know that this is what we should be doing, but a frustrating time to realize that we don't have the resources to actually do it at a rate that we need to do it to get those, those cures out to the patients as quickly as possible. So one analogy I like to make is that if in 1930, the US government decided to go to the moon, we would have had no prayer of going to the moon. We didn't know, even have a jet engine. We didn't understand how to do it. We didn't have computers. In 1960, when we decided to go to the moon and announced that we could do it in a decade, everyone was uh, very skeptical of this. But in fact, the scientists at that point knew that they could do it. They knew it was a matter of just developing the technology. It was, it was feasible because they knew exactly what to do. Today, you know, we discovered, we declared war on cancer in the 1970s when we had no idea what the disease was. And so it took us many years to get to where we actually knew what it was. We, now we know what the disease is. We don't understand it completely, but we know immensely more. And so now is the time to go to the moon. <laughs>